When I first heard the word Jade, it was as if it was my name being called. It was really kind of a strange thing. It was like goosebumps, like Jade was it. When I was growing up, Richmond was a totally different place than it is today. I traveled to Europe in my late teens and I visited a lot of museums and I saw a lot of masters work in, in Europe and it really influenced me and it really strengthened my desire to explore the world of art. During my time in art school, I walked into a, a sculpture class quite accidentally one day and I saw a sculpture being created for the first time. And at that moment, I knew that's what I wanted to do. I produced some 90 sculptures for this group that supported me. They gave me a show in Vancouver, invited a lot of people in, and one person came through that bought the whole collection. I got an article written about me in the National Geographic magazine that uh, called me one of the best contemporary jade sculptors in the world. I let the boulder or the stone itself tell me what I should sculpt into it and other times I bring the idea to it like I may have a thought or an idea that would look great in in jade so I would bring that to the stone I think people when they look for a piece of jade they they, they look for um, a, a real heart connection to the stone Part of the process of creating sculpture is to do drawings, and sometimes I add color and do paint as well. But then it's diamond saws to start the cuts, and then I use diamond grinders to shape it. And uh, this whole process has to be done with water. So it's a learned process. It's something that takes a lot of time to understand and allow yourself to feel the stone. How long does it take to do a sculpture? And my smart answer to that is 35 years, because that's how long I've been working with this stone. The kind of people that purchase my work, I think, are they're people that have freedom in their life to do whatever they wish. And I think when they see my work, that kind of reflects into their personality. They see um, how unique this kind of art is. And when they have that in their homes, I think that really reflects on who they are as a person as well. Well, Creative Finds offers me um, a very interesting opportunity because I feel it's the future. The way you exhibit art on Creative Finds is a way that allows people to have an education about what they're seeing. So today I think I'm at a very high level with my work and uh, I would feel like there's really nothing that I couldn't achieve with Jade.